everyone and welcome back to another Better Minecraft episode. In today's episode, we are going to be doing a bit of exploring and then also building a barn, which is going to be so cute. So if you're excited for that, then go ahead and grab a snack, grab a drink and stick around. The first thing that I wanted to do at the start of the episode is actually go back to our winery and check it out because someone left a comment that really helped me out with how I can make wine and use the aging barrel. So thank you so much for leaving that comment. So I downloaded the REI mod so I can go here and look up all of the recipes of wine. So if we wanted to make this whatever wine here, then we would need two red grape juice and then also two sweet berries. And then the only wine that we don't have to add anything to make is this Nior wine, which we just need two red grape juices. So let's go ahead and try to do that because this is definitely the incorrect way to do this. So if I go ahead and put this bottle here, then it should make the wine right away way okay that's so exciting oh year four how does it already have four years and it gives us water breathing too which is pretty cool and then we can take our little wine here and put it in the barrel i'm so excited so we will definitely have to look for sweet berries while we are exploring uh we will need some honey eventually oh and these cherries too though i don't want to chop down our cherry tree uh so we will maybe just keep our eye open for a cherry tree elsewhere oh look it's an apple cake oh my gosh that's so adorable adorable. I'm so excited for this. And then I, of course, don't have any more glass, so I can't make more wine, unfortunately. But that is one reason why we are exploring today is so that I can get things like sand and stuff to make glass. I'm just so happy that I can finally make actual wine now and not just grape juice. So again, thank you so much for that comment because I definitely would not have figured it out without that comment. And also that mod is so useful. But I need to go ahead and gather some items for exploring, like some extra food and then and also maybe some more shears, things like that. I do really want to make a backpack, but I think in order to make a backpack, I need wool. And then again, we have no wool. So we will also fix that in today's episode. Hopefully, at least we will be working towards getting more wool in today's episode. Oh, I have more glass, apparently. I had no idea. I just had some glass in the furnace. So I guess I could make some more bottles. So maybe we can stop by the winery on the way to exploring and drop off these wine bottles. And while these potatoes are cooking, I guess I'm going to go ahead and just begin to harvest our crop fields just a little bit. Maybe I'll start with the tomatoes over here just because again, winter is quickly approaching. So I just wanna make sure that we have plenty of food for winter. That's enough harvesting for now. I'm sure that our potatoes are done cooking. One cool thing that we can also do within the Farmer's Delight mod is create these carrot crates so we can combine a bunch of carrots and make one crate. So it just saves a bunch of space. I've done that a little bit already with some carrots and some onions, not with some potatoes though yet. I think that we will probably explore more south, maybe a little bit east too actually. Maybe let's go east first. Let's stop by the winery, drop off those glass bottles and then maybe head east and see what's over here. So we'll go ahead and make some more of this kind of wine and then put it in the little barrel. So cute. And then that's pretty much all we can do with what we currently have now. So let's go ahead and just put the rest of the wine bottles in this drawer and then we can continue to make wine once we have more ingredients to do so. Throw this rotten tomato away because I don't want that rotten tomato and then we will head east. Actually, that's west, not east. You know, close enough. For exploring, I would love to find some more villages just so we can get some goodies from those villages maybe a new cool wood type and then of course some sand and clay would be nice too and anything else that we see too we can definitely keep in mind and visit later if we need to because there's a lot of things that we'll probably find that i won't be exploring just yet until we get some better armor and tools and stuff like that like that windmill for example i would love to explore it at some point but you know i'm just i'm not ready for it yet i don't think but i will take this wool thank you sheep Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that literally scared me so bad. I got too close to the windmill. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, he took half of my health. So we're going to have to run. Oh, we had to run so fast. Okay. I, I don't know if I'm going to survive this. I heard something and I was like, there's something behind me. I think, uh, yes, there definitely was. Okay. I'm so scared. Okay. Run, 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 run. Okay. Well, you know, we tried. Oh, okay. Um, 
hee hee, first time dying, love that. I'm gonna go to sleep and then I'll go back out there during the day and you know, hopefully it's all good. Luckily our body will be there and then we can just quickly transfer our items and we don't have to worry about the items leaving anytime soon or anything like that. Like you would usually have to worry about in vanilla Minecraft. Literally hate that for me so much, what even? Okay, let's take the rest of the potatoes and now we're off and hopefully everything's going to be okay. Those farmer villagers, those zombie farmer villagers are so tough. They're so, so, so tough. Hence why we are not taking on the windmill yet. Now you can clearly see why I'm going to wait. Let's hope that he's not there. Let's hope that once we get there, then he just, you know, went off on his way and everything will be fine. Oh no, he's still there. Do you see the map? Yeah, he's still there. He's just chilling. Okay, can you please leave? Yeah, he's definitely really close and they run so fast too. Look at all of them. Oh my goodness. He has a mushroom on top of his head. Oh, they all have little mushrooms. That's actually so cute. I just want to get my stuff, please. Oh, I got it. Oh, that was so easy. I love that. I'm just so happy that that was so easy to do, but I guess let's go ahead and continue exploring now that we have our stuff back. Well, look at this little animal. This is another fun thing that we're going to be doing while exploring is looking at the animals. He sounds a little bit grumpy though. Oh, he's scared of us. He's so cute though. He looks a little bit derpy, but we love him. Ooh, I want to see if I can collect this ivy. Oh, I can. Perfect. Because I actually want to use that ivy for the barn that I'm going to be building today because I want it to feel like very natural and overgrown. So if I see any more ivy, I will definitely be collecting it. Oh, this little forest is so cute. <gasps> Look at the mushrooms. I want these mushrooms. Okay, cool. And then I think we can just put them on trees. That's so cool. Oh, I like this brown chicken. Hello, you're a very cute brown chicken. So it looks like we have a big birch forest and then a lot of redwood trees, I think. There are actually multiple different kinds of redwood trees within this little mod pack. You know, just traveling by treetop because why not? It looks like a boat might come in handy here. So I think I might go ahead and craft a boat. And then that looks mysterious. Ooh, there's some dark oak over there. There's some little ducks. There's some kind of like, oh, spawner right there. I wonder kind of what kind of spawner that is. Probably shouldn't go check it out, but you know, I'm gonna check it out. Uh, oh, it's a skeleton spawner. Okay, well, I guess it's not active because it's too bright, but that's actually really cool. So maybe we should like keep that in mind. I think that we can go over here and then I can like mark this location or something, create waypoint, and then we'll call it a skeleton spawner. And then we'll be able to remember that. And yeah, that's perfect. We should probably do that with our base as well. This dark oak forest will be perfect for gathering a bunch of cute little like detail blocks, like the ivy and the mushrooms. And there's another one of these mesmerite shards here. The mesmerite shards make this feel so much more magical. It's like a little fantasy forest almost. There's a bridge over that way. I think that's so cool that there's little bridges around here. Ooh, and I think that's Spruce, we love spruce. That means that there might be sweet berries. We need sweet berries so bad. Oh, look, there's spruce over there. Hopefully there's sweet berries. And maybe I'll gather some of the sand while I'm here. Just a little bit. I don't want to make it look too ugly. Two bridges, so fancy. It's so cool. Oh, okay. It just kind of cuts off in the middle of nowhere. But there's another bridge over this way. I just love exploring so much. It's just so fun. Silt. That's what this block is, silt apparently. Oh, this is a river biome. <gasps> Oh my gosh, look at all the snails. I want to keep one so bad. They're so cool. I wonder if we can put a lead around a snail and like bring him home or something. I guess I'll go ahead and grab this gold block since we do have an iron pickaxe. Oh, two gold blocks. Cool. We'll definitely grab both of those and see what's in this chest. Glistening melons. I think you can make like potions out of that. Um, and also some blue obsidian. Interesting. And I guess I'll take that iron nuggets. But you know, I don't want to make my inventory inventory too full. Let's explore this old growth spruce taiga and see if we can find any sweet berries. I'll be so sad if there are no sweet berries in this whole place. Oh, what is that? Okay, that's the thing that we saw on the map earlier. It has those evil invisible skeletons. I've definitely been to one of these places before on just a personal playthrough. And you know, I don't think I wanna go there right now. So let's avoid it. Oh, I hear a spider. This is like the first time I'm using the sword. It feels so cool. A bunch of mossy cobblestone, so much mossy cobblestone. Oh, sweet berries. Yes, I'm so excited. 
good. Sweet berries are literally the best at decorating. We can use them for the wine, which is so fun. We could, of course, eat them if we wanted to. I don't think we'll be doing that. Oh, look, there's a village over there too. This is so fun. I cannot tell you, like, I cannot explain, like, how much fun I'm actually having right now. Look, a little seedling dandelion, a little dandelion puff. It's so cute. I will take it. Oh, and there's little particle effects. Yeah, we are definitely taking those. Okay, fun. Just like a classic little Minecraft village. Whoa. Of course, you know, with a gaping hole, a Minecraft village cannot be complete without a gaping hole of some sort. Ooh, look at these coal blocks. They're just laying here for anyone to take. Wow, don't mind if I do. You know, I could have brought my potatoes to see if the villagers wanted to trade my potatoes. I could have done that. I definitely want these emeralds. Ooh, cabbage. I really wanted cabbage, so I'm excited about that. I definitely want that too. But my pockets are getting a little bit full, so I had to pick and choose what I want. But I will definitely take the cabbage seeds and the emeralds and then also there's rice because that's cool too and here's their little waystone the village is called Pifereso. Pifereso? Pifereso? Something like that. And I'm pretty sure the village close to our base is the Kukatami village. So we could just teleport close to our base if we wanted to. It looks like there's a plains over this way. I just wanted to check out the map because a lot of areas will load in even if you've never been there. So it looks like there's a plain over that way or a plains over that way. Ooh, some snow over this way. I love myself some good snow. I think I think I'll explore just a little bit more around this village, see what else they have to offer. A little emerald. We love to see it. Oh, some pumpkin pie. Um, baby, can you please? Oh, he literally just kicked me out of the house. Excuse me. Like, he quite literally kicked me out of the house. That was rude. I'll take the pumpkin pie. Thank you, Justino. Thank you, Justino. Okay, he's being rude. Oh, is that like a little wagon? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh, I love this. Whoa, golden moss clump, encyclopedia of Eden, Eden ring. That's so funny. Ooh, and there's a little buried treasure map here. Okay, so cool. We are definitely running out of space. So I think I'll go ahead and grab some little goodies here and then probably start to head back. Let's check out this Encyclopedia of Eden. Whoa, this looks so cool. It looks like Eden is a giant blue planet. And there's like the Eden gravity. Apparently there's like gravelite, this crystal-like material with a blue color. Oh, and it's kind of like redstone in a way, I think even biomes there's land biomes void biomes cave biomes and here's a list of the biomes i guess brainstorm biome whoa this is so cool and here's all the different kinds of plants and metals there's netherite here apparently this is so cool like, this little book and everything like this is such a vibe balloon mushroom trees that's cool are these a balloon mushroom trees maybe how do you get here whoa Oh my gosh, that's so cool. They're like little grass planets almost, or like just floating land structures. How do we get here? Or is this just like, is this a story and it's not really real or is it real? Well, either way, that is super, super cool. So maybe we can check that out a little bit more later. I don't understand this treasure map either because where is the X? Isn't that what it said? I could have swore it said buried treasure map. Maybe I was just saying things because, you know, I don't think that's a buried treasure map well if you aren't a buried treasure map then i don't want you well i think that this little wagon has probably been one of the coolest things that i've seen so far in our little exploration trip and then of course we can't forget about the sweet sweet berries look up at all his puppies you're so lucky oh there's a spruce beehive with two bees inside of it whoa oh and that's his little beehive he's the beekeeper well i don't want to you know disrupt his beekeeping so i'm not going to take it for myself but I do think that I'm going to go ahead and use that waystone because I've never used one before and it'll make our journey so much faster. So let's go ahead and use it. It's going to cost one level, but I want to go to Kukatami. And here's our cute little village with the ton of villagers that are in it. And then of course, all the iron golems, literally so many iron golems, literally so many iron golems. Oh my goodness. And then if we kind of want to go back out that way, then we can just teleport to that 
that other village and then kind of start exploring out that way. It would just make our journey a bit faster. That's actually so cool. And I think it's cool too that you have to pay a level because it kind of balances it out, you know? Like we're not just teleporting for free. We have to pay to do so. Look at all of our chickens. They're so cute. And we also have two little baby chickens. Have Has anyone laid any eggs? It doesn't look like it. I'll leave you be chickens. Well, I'm super excited about all of the goodies that we got. I definitely want to plant a little cabbage field and then also a wheat field probably maybe next episode that sounds like a pretty good idea but i'm going to go ahead and start slowly clearing out my inventory i know my chests are atrocious i am beginning to run out of space next i would like to go ahead and start building this barn i figured that i wanted to get a barn in before winter comes and then we can go ahead and start collecting some little cows and sheep and things like that so i'm going to go ahead and get my little workstation together of all the things i need i should probably make some extra tools too while i'm at it i kind of want it to be close to the chicken coop just so it kind of feels like a cohesive set like we have all of our animal buildings in one area i'm going to be using some more redstone dark oak and also spruce kind of like this little build here and also kind of like our little starter house i really like building with this redwood i didn't think i would like it so much but i've actually been enjoying it a lot it just feels very farm-esque you know but i do think i want to grab some more dirt because i think i might have to do a little bit of terraforming in order to get the land exactly shaped how i want it to be shaped but i'm going to go ahead and start placing some blocks and get this build in And here we have the cute little barn complete. I love how it turned out and I love how nature-y it feels. This ivy is absolutely nuts though. It grows so fast and all over the place. I definitely wish I could like slow down the growing process or just like tame it a little bit because I don't want it growing literally everywhere. But if we need to do something about it later than I will, for now, I'm just going to leave it. But on the inside, I did do minimal, minimal interior. I added like a little hayloft without the hay so we can actually go up here and like see out the window and stuff with just some little trap doors and a little lantern and now here we have a place for the animals to graze i wanted them to have something outside not just all inside so they have a little area outside and also inside and i put the doors like this so that we can open them out and kind of leave them open i think that's really cute but i do want to get some animals in this barn and the sun is setting and if we look here at this little calendar that we haven't crafted it says one day left to winter so i think that means whenever we wake up it's going to be winter so i'm actually really excited about that winter came so fast i can't believe it's already here so is it winter does this mean it is winter zero days left till winter okay so is day zero an actual day that we should count so maybe tomorrow will be winter i'm not entirely sure but it doesn't look winter out there does it okay so maybe tomorrow either way i went to get some animals in the barn also i was supposed to clean up my mess and i definitely did not do that these redwood trees are so ugly just sitting here so i'm gonna go ahead and chop those down i also need to come in here and remodel my house a little bit because I want to add a bunch more kitchen supplies and just make it more cozy because right now it just feels a little bit boring. But I'm going to go ahead and chop down these redwood trees that are just huge eyesores, honestly. Now let's go find some animals. So on the mini map, it looks like we have some animals kind of north from us. So, oh, so many cows and they're so cute. They're the really cute colored cows, not just the typical Minecraft cows. I'm going to grab every single one of them because they're so cute. Hello, this cow. I think this is actually actually different than the minecraft cow right because i think this is the usual minecraft cow oh actually maybe not i don't know no i think he's the usual minecraft cow and this one's a different one and then there's this white one this black one and then this like brown and black one over here look at all of the cows following us we have five cows come on cows come on focus focus we have five new cows and it's so cool that they're all different colors too they're not just all the same color but they keep on getting distracted come on we're going to your new home that i built just for you imagine being so lucky let's steer clear of the great bush please i don't want to have any tragedies today okay are you going to walk okay i thought he was oh 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 come on come on 
And here we go, all of our little cows. I really wish I would have prioritized growing wheat because honestly, like onions don't really have too much of a use for us right now, but wheat definitely will. Uh, so here we are in winter almost with no wheat. Oh, look at the baby ones. We have the black and brown one. And then also just, oh, that one's solid white. It doesn't have black spots. So fun. So we got a new color. Well, I'm so happy for them. I hope that they like their new home. Now I would like to go ahead and grab some sheep. It looks like there's one right there. And then didn't we see some sheep over this way? Maybe they haven't loaded in. So we should probably just go over there because I really want to craft a backpack here soon. Oh, also I had to remember to stay clear of the windmill because you know, we don't want a repeat of what happened earlier. Oh, and we need to add some little pigs too, but I kind of want to make like a special little pig pen or something. But anyways, I think I want to craft a backpack in next episode. And in order to do that, I'm going to need some wool so i really should probably grab some sheep wherever they are okay there's some that way let's go over here here are the little sheep come on little white sheep another white sheep and then a black sheep it's going to be a long journey all the way home but at least we have some sheep now oh my gosh these sheep they're taking so long oh i guess that winter is about to come right when we wake up i think it's going to be winter time oh whoa it's actually more green. That's weird. I didn't expect it to look so green. Maybe it's just the biome that we're in or something. I don't know. Oh, and it looks like just this little area. Oh, I think it's, oh, okay, okay. It is slowly loading in. Whoa, I actually love winter. I was getting sick of the autumn colors, honestly, but this doesn't even feel like winter. It kind of feels like spring or something. The leaves are definitely a little bit more dead, that's for sure, but the grass is very green. Also, I'm going like the dumbest way to my base. What am I doing? Okay, come on, little sheepies. There we go, perfect. So yes, the bushes are very, very dead. At least the flowers are still here though. But like, oh my gosh, those are like so dead. They're like purple almost. I was expecting a little bit more snow you know, but I definitely don't see any snow. Well, I'm happy that we have little animals actually in our barn and hopefully they actually go inside too. Oh, they are inside. Okay, look at him. He's definitely inside, that's for sure. But now I would like to go back to the winery and since we have sweet berries, I wanna make some wine with the sweet berries. Oh my gosh, look at all of this, like going through it. I feel like winter within this mod pack is a little bit weird because it's definitely very green and then you have these living flowers everywhere and then the dead bushes so it's like green and also dead so it kind of just feels a little bit weird so if we go here and look at the different wine recipes we can make this wine which uses two red grape juice and two sweet berries and then another one yep this one uses two white wine so let's go ahead and get out the wine bottles out of the drawers let's add some of the sweet berries to the white grape juice and then add the bottle and then we'll do the same just a bunch of times until we use up all of our bottles. Clark wine, fire resistance. That's cool. And then we'll go ahead and put in our cute little like wine barrels. I think that's so fun. And I'm not sure why the wine is already aged. Like this is already five years. I don't know why that is, but it's kind of cool. You know, how do I take out the wine? Do I have to break it? Maybe I have to break it. Okay. I feel like it's actually a cool way to kind of make potions, you know? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, how do I place it in the bottom? Well, I guess we're not placing it in the bottom. That's fine. I'm definitely happy that I'm continuing to explore the Vinery mod. I never want to just like give up on a project and forget about it after I have completed it. I want to like revisit it, you know? So I definitely want to make more wine and I think wine would be a cute decoration like inside of our house and stuff. So we can definitely use it for decorations. But I think that is about going to do it for today's episode. I hope Hope that you have enjoyed it. Maybe in today's episode, we'll get some diamond gear. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to do crop fields. I was thinking crop fields, but winter is here. So maybe not crop fields. We'll see. But if you have enjoyed this episode and you haven't already subscribed and liked this video, then feel free to do that. Check out my socials down in the description box. And I hope that everyone has a lovely, lovely day. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.